What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I just got back from Florida an hour ago and realized I don't have any footage for a Friday video. So I'm doing this for you guys despite my, you know, hour and a half of sleep. We are outside <laughs> a Rethink Thrift and then we're going to just hit up a few more stores and see what we can find. Right, right when I walked in I saw an Orvis flannel. Um, how much is it? 10 bucks. Mm, maybe I'll wait till half off day. You guys need a 64 ounce flask? I knew. Man. Okay, so this is a hundred dollars. Come to the bottom thing. I'm probably gonna wait till half off day on this one. But this one might be worth it at 35. I will look up the model to see what it's going for, but I think that might be worth it still. Okay, so I changed my mind. I am gonna get that. It looks like it goes for about $400 plus shipping, and they test their stuff here usually, so I think I'm gonna get that. All right, so I'm putting back the $35 one. It looks like I can get about 75 for it, but I'm gonna wait till half off day. It's still here, I'm gonna grab it. But that uh, Bose one for 100, I was very shocked at comps, four to 500. Um, so yeah, that's, I don't wanna risk it not being here on half off day. I'm sure it will be, but in case it's not. And just found three pairs of Ariat boots. They are all $5.99 a pair. I'll go over these more in the car. You find something? Correction, I found the Ariat. I just said you found the Ariat. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so there's a bit of people here, so it's kind of hard to film comfortably. But I found a couple vinyls on that new cart. This is the Battle at Gardens Gate. It goes for about $20 to $25. And then, sorry, I'm trying to set this down without damaging it. Then a Star Wars from 1977 soundtrack. This one goes between uh, about 20 to 40, so I'll probably list it for 25 to 30 in this uh, condition. And yeah, then three pairs of the Ariat boots and that Bose Wave radio. So I'm looking in the little glass case thing they have. There's this bag of uh, custom jewelry and watches for 25. It's pretty heavy, surprisingly. There's like a pocket watch, some other stuff. I just know nothing about this kind of stuff, so I'm probably going to pass on 25. If it's still here, half off, I'll get it. I gotta look at this camera, and then there's a few little iPods. There, this one's 10, 10, and 5, so I'm going to look them up. Alright, so Jess just found a Patagonia with a big old fish on the back <laughs> for $2.50, so that's probably a $20 shirt. And, and then I've, I haven't heard of this brand. I don't know if you have grit iron. I have not. Uh, it's a workwear brand, it's kind of like oh. snap on. So I figured we could Maybe. look it up. Yeah, we can look it up. Yeah. All right, so I'm putting this back because it doesn't really sell. They're listed for like 10 bucks and not a lot sold, unfortunately. All right, so just found some True Religion jeans. They're a pretty basic model, but they're only 250, so I'm sure I'll get at least 20 for them. And I'm going to put back both of the Apple iPods. Uh, they're not worth it at 10, but on half off day, I'll probably get them. They're probably worth like 25 to 30 a piece. So I'm gonna put those back, grab these, and we're probably gonna head out. Okay, so unfortunate news. So we paid $50 for everything. We did still get the Bose Wave radio, but I only paid 25 for it because at the register we tested it. It does not work. It's like making this like vacuum sound as if there's a disc stuck in it. And it just it just kept saying, please wait. But for parts, I can get about 120. So for 25, it's still worth it, just not the four to five hundred dollar score we were hoping for. Then I got the two vinyls, uh, the Patagonia shirt, and two pairs of Ariat boots. I put one back because they had some damage. But besides that, I should get about 30 to 40 for each pair of boots. Uh, you know, 40 for both the vinyls in total, and 120. So not bad for 50 bucks. Now we're gonna head on over to Goodwill. Do you? <laughs> Headed straight to the shoes and these vans caught my eyes for $7.99, that's a buy. Some key new ports for $3.99. These Solomon hiking boots would be good. They're 20 bucks though and just a little bit too dirty. They have Gore-Tex though, so if they're in better condition, they could probably get about 60. Music's very loud in here, so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to film. Here's some more Solomons for 10. Those might be worth it, some approach hiking shoes. I'll look up the model later. Those are too worn. Some kids Lamar snowboard boots. Uh, Lamar's a pretty decent brand. They're eight dollars, and I'm sure I can get about forty for them. So I'm gonna pick those up. Then a pair of kids ski boots. Uh, Alpina. Alpina. It's not the best brand, but they're six bucks, and I should get about forty for those as well. 
I've showed you guys this before. 510 is a fantastic brand to be on the lookout for. These are 15, a little beat. Those might still be worth it though. 510 cycling shoes are very, very expensive shoes and they usually sell very fast. These here, these are a huge bolo. These always sell really, really well for me and they come apart. Like this can be easily broken down into a small box and for $9.99, that's, I guarantee that's at least $60. All right, I think this is gonna be a buy as well. Uh, remote controls like that for helicopters or boats, I'm not sure, but for $7.99, there's two of them. So I'm gonna get those two. Some Canon ink for $2.99, I'll look it up. Nice. I hate how loud the music is in here today. It's making it really hard to film because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But and I'm, I know I sound like a broken record because I find one of these in almost every video. But th if you're new to the channel, haven't seen uh, my videos before, look out for eye clickers. They sell pretty much instantly for $22 free shipping. They sell even faster than uh, TI-84 Pluses for me now, so. All right, in the women's shoes are these Merrells for 10. I don't want to pay 10 and have to do that much cleaning though. And then, oh, brand new Skechers for 13. Uh, now nah, they look like they've been worn. Uh, way too much wear. The Kuru is a great brand. I love selling New Balance Minimus, but not for 13. All right, so music is so loud in here, like I said, but I found some really, really good stuff, including this. This is why you look up anything and everything. It's $5.99. This cord sells for $50. And I couldn't find this exact model of Nikes, but it looks like similar ones in the same like model Nike free trainer. Goes for over $100 and they want $15. So that's definitely a buy. All right, music stopped temporarily. So let me get this in. This ink is a really good buy as well. This one right here goes for about $40 plus shipping and it's four. This one's about 30 and this one, is about 20 so what 40 30 70 so 90 bucks in ink for like 10 bucks that's a really good deal and they all seem to sell really fast putting both of these back for condition reasons and pricing okay so we spent 90 dollars even on everything uh this arrow garden i should get about 60 for the unit itself and i'll throw this uh the plant pods in with it but this bulb on its own sells for about 25 and i've sold them a couple times and then Sorry. It's a little cold. And then I got the remotes as you saw. I looked up this one and it goes for about 40 on its own. So I didn't even look up this one, but it's worth it just for that one. You got, I got the ski boots and all the ink that you saw. And then Jess found a few pieces of clothing. She found a pair of aloe leggings. These should go for about 25 to 30. Some Adidas Stella McCarthy. That's a really good collab that you want to look out for in Adidas. I didn't look up the shorts, but I'm sure they're worth the five bucks I paid. And then some Athleta, like, things. <laughs> All right. So that, I believe, you guys saw the rest of everything. Oh yeah, this cord. This is why you gotta look up everything. This Noco Genius 5 cord that has like uh, these on it. <laughs> sell for about 50 to 60 bucks. And they sell pretty consistently too. So for $5.99, that's a good buy. Now we're gonna head to Four Corners Thrift. <laughs> Just thought I was done talking, so she turned off the camera. Sorry. But uh, <laughs> it's okay. Well, we're gonna, as I was gonna say before she rudely interrupted me, we are heading to Four Corners Thrift where it's half off today. It's um, like four in the afternoon almost. I don't know how much stuff is gonna be left it's over. I don't know if they're restocked, but we're gonna still run inside and see what we can find. All right, Four Corners Thrift. It's starting to snow and I'm in a t-shirt. Let's go. First find are these Bonfire Ski Snowboard Pants. They're gonna be $6. Bonfire is a really good brand. These should go for about 40. Another pair of uh, snowboard pants, Special Blend. That's a good brand as well. And so I'll also be picking these up. Never mind, these are pretty ripped up. Some Ultra Trail Running Shoes for six. So this is why you should always check inside boxes. What's on the box is not what's in it. It's like the old radio that they replaced. So I'm gonna leave this. But these are $4 each being half off. This one goes for 45 and this one goes between 35 and 40. So those are definitely gonna be pickups. 
That's pretty neat. Oh well, yeah, that's cool. Huh. I don't know what it is. So I just looked it up, I found the exact one and it sold for 30 plus shipping. So for 10, it's just, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. All right, just paid $18 for everything. I'll get 30 for the ski boots, 35 a piece for these, and probably 25 to 30 on the ultras. So for 18, that's not bad at all. The, the printer toner should sell very quickly. It has a very good sell through rate. It is now the next day. I, I was tired guys, I barely slept. So we went home, called it a day. I am now back outside of Goodwill. Uh, gave them some time to restock, so hopefully they put something new out. First find are these DC snowboard pants. DC snowboard pants sells really well for me. Some JBL headphones can be good. Guys, I think we just scored something big. If you don't know this brand, to me, you need to learn it. This bag is $7.99 and probably worth at least a hundred bucks, maybe more. It's in pretty good condition overall. Like, it's a nice bag. We'll go over it more in the car. And where there's one, there might be another. So always, now I gotta like go through everything. Well, this isn't a Toomey, but I just saw Patagonia. Not sure what kind of bag this would be for, but for $7.99, I'm guessing that's still a buy. Okay, so these are Uggs, and they are $18. Not worth that. All right, so this logo just caught my eye. These are Black Diamond. They're $5.99, and they are filthy. Black Diamond's a really good brand. So they're really dirty, but seem to be in good physical condition. Man, I don't know. I don't want to deal with them, but that is a really, really good brand of climbing gear. I don't know a whole lot about bags. I know the sack's okay, but I think eight bucks for it's not gonna be worth it in the condition. It just has a few marks. And then, where was it? This is cool, but I don't know. It's peeling down there, so I feel like it's pretty flimsy. It's from just, oh, Justin, huh. Maybe that is worth it, eight bucks. I don't know, I'll Google, in, Google lens it. Okay, so I am gonna leave that behind for $8 and the condition. It just looks like there's not a lot selling, so. Okay, so I never sold or found this model of Texas Instruments before. This is the TI-73. It only sells for about $15 free ship, so I'm gonna leave it behind. This I couldn't find anything on, but I'm still gonna get it. Some controllers can be worth good money. And this bad boy I already knew was gonna be worth good money. It's $3.99 and I can get about $80 for it very quickly, especially in the blue colorway. Okay guys, I paid $36 for everything. By the end of today, I will have already doubled my money on just this item. The DC snowboard pants should get me about 60. I'm not sure about the Patagonia bag, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth around 50, I would guess. But the find of the day is this Toomey laptop bag. So I just used Google Lens on it and found out it's a pretty expensive bag. It is uh, the expandable laptop brief bag and the shoulder strap, it is inside of the bag. I already checked. It's in really good condition. All the zippers work well. It sells for about $150 plus shipping and they sell very fast. They have a very good sell through rate. So for $8, that's insane. I, that's, that's like my fourth time finding Toomey, maybe fifth. I found two suitcases, um, a wallet that sold for like 60 and that, so yeah, that's about it. But I don't find it very often, but when I do, it always sells very quickly. So look out for that brand. Now my store has been on time away mode for about five days now. So I've got some really good orders to pull. So we're going to head on over to storage. and I'm going to show you some of the awesome sales I've had over the week. We are now at my storage unit and I have like 60 items I need to pull. Obviously, I'm not gonna do all that on camera. I have a few pretty major sales, uh, some highlights, if you will, that I'm gonna show you. But besides that, it's also, it's not like, it's not really cold, but it's like kind of a slushy out. It's snowing lightly and I don't wanna be here longer than I need to, so we're gonna just get right into it. All right, one of the bigger sales I had was this bread maker down here. I picked up this Panasonic SDYD250 bread maker in uh, Billings, Montana, and I think I paid around eight to ten dollars for it, and it ended up selling for 135, and it took about a month. 
Okay, so I think this item is still in my truck. Um, in my last video, I picked up an Oregon, Oregon Scientific like weather station, new in box at Goodwill for $25. If you saw my last video, you probably saw it. If you haven't, check it out. It was a good video. And I sold while I was gone uh, for $180. And yeah, I paid 25 for it. It sold in a week, so that's a really good buy. Also, in one of my recent videos, I bought this blender, which is super cool. Here, I'm gonna turn this off and get it down without breaking. Okay, so yeah, it's the coolest blender I've ever seen. I paid 40 bucks for it, which is paying up. It's Gen Air. I've never heard of it before. There was a few sold, like one listed, and this took roughly a few weeks to sell. It sold for $200. Um, yeah, the others were selling for around 200 to 250 depending on the style. Like, it was all different kinds of glass. There was one that was green that looked really cool. But still, 40 bucks into 200 in a few weeks, you can't beat that. Plus, it's just super cool. And obviously, the golf club stand isn't the best place to set it. I just don't have a lot of, you know, table space available in here, you could say. Even though it is February, I sold a pack of six uh, Christmas by Krebs ornaments for $25 and I paid a buck for them. Uh, they're very lightweight. Put it in a box, it'll still ship first class. So that's a buck into 25 in February. Can't beat it. I've shown you guys a lot of these in videos in the past. Evolve rock climbing shoes, any rock climbing shoes sell. But I sold these for 50 bucks and I paid you can still kind of read it on the bottom, $8 for them. Um, yeah, rock climbing shoes always sell really well for me. These actually took longer than most shoes. They sold, they took about three weeks. Usually rock climbing shoes usually sell within like a week for me. And then, oh, not sure why this one's on the ground, but this actually sold, must've fell off the top. Uh, these Tourmaster motorcycle boots, I sold those for, I sold them for 50 and I paid 10. Oh yeah, here's the other one. I sold something from the Utah thrifting trip. Actually, it, I got it at the same store where I met Osborne to thrift, um, which was the coolest part of the trip, honestly, just my opinion. But I sold this uh, Pioneer compact disc changer. I sold it for $100 and I only paid $5 at the store. So I beat you too at Osborne. It's a pretty good find. So I'm not really sure what this is. It's like a, it's a liquor cap it's called flask cap. I think I paid like $4 for it and it sold for $35. I'm not really sure who's paying $35 for this, but you know, I will take it. Like I said, I'm not really sure what it is. Yeah, it holds six shots, so it's interesting. I also sold a Leapfrog, like it's a book, book lot. It's like a self-reading educational toy for kids. I sold that for $35. I picked it up in a video recently. I don't remember how much I paid. I think I paid like between five and seven. I picked this one up at recently at Rethink Thrift in one of my videos. I paid, I think like a dollar for it, a dollar to two dollars. Uh, aloe. So there was like very, very few sold and none listed of these fanny packs. And it sold very quickly for 35. I had it listed for 40, I had a lot of watchers. Uh, but you know, a couple bucks into 35 and especially for a fanny pack, that's really good. All right, another shoe sale um, are these. So I picked these up in a video recently. I'm trying to show you guys stuff that I also found in videos. Um, and someone called me out in the comments cause I found them, but I didn't really mention what brand they were. I completely forgot. But I was like, yeah, these are a bolo, but I never told you what they were. These Ice Bug, Ice, trying to get where you can see it. Yeah, Ice Bug. Ice Bug's a really, really good brand. Those are in like, like new condition. I paid $5 for them and they sold very quickly for 90. Uh, so yeah, I apologize for not telling you guys the brand in the video, but if you do see that brand, you should buy it. All right, I got these Yukon, Yukon Charlie's uh, snowshoes at a yard sale last summer for $5 and they sold for 40. Um, I'm surprised they took this long into the year to sell, but they did sell for 40. I think that's gonna be the last thing I show you guys. It's cold, I just wanna pull these and get home and start packing. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.